Hello everyone, I'm Clayton Crispin. In today's video, I would like to talk about all this controversy regarding uh, the use of camera, like actually the ban of cameras on, Mad on, Madama, on Madonna's Madame X tour. She posted on social media complaining about this and the fans you know, started a huge arguing in the comments. You know, Some people are pro, some people are against. Some people want to, to use their cameras, after all, they paid for that. And then other fans, they are, they are defending their oh, Madonna side, anyways. So let's talk about this, about all this controversy. But before, as always, I'd like to ask you to like and subscribe to this channel and drop down a comment what you think. What, what is your, your opinion about this? I know some subscribers here of the channel, they went, they went or they will, they will be going to to Madame Max tour, so I'd like to know uh, what is your opinion about this. If you if you agree with Madonna or not. So uh, to start, oh yeah yeah, don't forget to follow me on my social medias here. There are some nice videos also about Madonna here, and other nice videos as well. So let's get started because I know I speak too slow. I don't want to let you guys bored. All right. Um, so to start, I would like to read very quickly. Very short article actually from HuffPost, Huff, HuffingPost, HuffingtonPost.co.uk actually. So I'm gonna put the link down below. So um, it highlights um, Madonna blasts fans for recording Madame Max tour despite no phone role. The singer has previously been called out for using her own mobile phone in theater. Mm. So. Uh, Madonna has hit out at fans for posting recordings of her Madame X live show on social media, despite the fact phone phones are supposed to be banned from her performances. Well, the singer uh, the singer revealed shortly after, shortly before the launch of her Mammoth uh, theater shows that when fans arrived at the venues, their mobile phones would be put in sealed pouches, uh, which they would be able to reopen when they left. However, some sneaky fans have still been able to capture footage of the show, which has since started doing the rounds, uh, the, the rounds on Twitter, leaving Madonna a little irked, to say the least. Oh my goodness. In an Instagram post re referencing her Madame Max alter ego, she filmed. I'm gonna read the full post here. Madame Max so appreciated all who came to the theater and enjoyed the show with their eyes and ears only. However, she's mystified and bewildered that there are others who refuse to honor her wishes and continue to sneak recording devices or tear open the sealed pouches to film the show, disturbing the audience and the performers and disrespecting her as an artist. If you cannot experience Madame X theater without the use of a recording device, then this show is not for you. Ouch! And the article continues anyway. I'm gonna put down below uh, the link for this article from halftempost.co.uk. Uh, it's very complicated. I will try to. I was when I read this uh, when I read this post uh, on Facebook because it's the same. Okay, she posts basically the same thing um, on her social medias. I start thinking about the you know, analyzing the situation and reading the comments. People were people are fighting, you know, they are fighting against each other. So I try, I try, I will try to analyze both sides, okay? And then maybe at the end I'm gonna give my personal opinion, yeah. Trying to to walk on Madonna's shoes or trying to understand her point, okay? I remember when my first my first year here in Ireland, and if you guys don't know, one of the biggest things here in Ireland, and I think across the globe because it's very popular, is the St. Patrick's uh, Festival, the St. Patrick's Day. So you have the parade, you have all the the the, the things, you know. I was so excited to see that for the very first time. I was so worried, you know, to record the whole parade, and uh, I didn't feel that I enjoyed because. At the end, my my phone's memory crashed. I lost my phone on that day. I mean, I lost. I mean, it crashed and I completely ruined my phone on the on that very day because of my because I was eager to record the whole parade. So I neither enjoyed the parade nor had the the recording video of the parade. My first Madonna's concert, my first Madonna tour. 
as I said before, as I said in my video here that you can see it in the cards, my first tour was a sticky and sweet tour. My phone at that time wasn't even a smartphone, was a, I, re, I, don't, I think it was a Motorola, it was a very low quality video and, and photo, so, but it was okay. Maybe by, uh, by the time she didn't complain because, I mean, the phones weren't that good, so it's okay, you just flick her. Uh, a very low quality picture of her show, if, if you can anyways, but um, no, still no professional cameras or recording devices were allowed, and I think since always, <laughs> yeah, on Madonna's concerts anyways, professionally, professional devices, I mean, even though I don't have the, the photos, I don't have the videos, I have the memory and I can go to the, um, I can go to the, to the DVD tour, um, and watch and remember and try to remember. Of course, it's not as vivid as my experience on, Met, on MDNA tour that uh, also now I put here, you can see it in the card. Of course, there, there are videos, there are photos. Um, uh, of course, if you, have the, the, if you have the photos, the pictures, your memory becomes alive it brings you more memories as, as you can see in this video i start when i start you know watching again after um after many years because i had those things in brazil anyway so and after only four years i went back to brazil and i got my pen drive anyways long story so yeah it's been a while i hadn't seen those pictures and those videos so that brought me memories and i like it but uh, even though i was so worried you know, again to record that uh, sometimes I had to stop and enjoy the concert because it's very overwhelming. It's a, it's a very overwhelming sensation because at the same time you want to watch with, with your naked eyes and, 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 and also you're worried to get the best shot, the best angle, to check if the battery is, is not running low, you know, so... It's very overwhelming, I think. It's supposed to be an experience that you, you really, you know, wanted to enjoy, to see it, and just be there, you know, being, you know, entertained. So I can understand her point. And you have to, to think, guys, Madonna's old school. And I think what the only thing she's asking is to respect her as an artist because she's the owner of the show, you know, she commands the, the, the whole thing. So the only thing she wants to is you know, is people do not enjoy the experience. So I can understand this. You get distracted, you, uh, as again, because all these things I already said, you know, you get distracted, you, you might miss something, you know, in the, in the show. It's like you're watching a movie and you are all the time, you know, checking your phone or, you know, you get distracted. And if you, and like, it's just like a movie, if you if you blink, you know, you miss you miss some imp important points. So I can understand. Okay, I mean, uh, I try to walk on her shoes. Okay, so in the other hand, yeah, what people, what most of the fans are arguing with, especially on the comments. If you go on her official page on Facebook, I think it's that is happening. This arguing is also happening in the across her social medias as well. People are arguing. Yeah, I paid for that, so I want to to have you know a gift, kind of a gift, you know, to remember this special day because she's a living legend, but she's not gonna last forever. Yeah, and I I was thinking, for example, um, I'm living in Ireland. She's not going to Brazil, but she's coming to Europe. So I kind of would have the opportunity to see her, maybe for the the last time because we don't know if she's gonna keep on touring, you know, because uh, people are saying, uh, I, read, I read an article describing her show and they said, for example, she's not dancing like before. I think we noticed this on Pride Day, on the Pride in New York when she did the, the concert. And also I think on Billboard Awards that we noticed, we are noticing she's, she's not dancing like before, she's more, you know, May, you know, she's not dancing like before anyways, yeah. I don't know when I would have the opportunity to, to see her live again. So, yeah, thinking this way, I would like to have, uh, I would like to have something to remember 
and uh, a picture would be nice. Video, yeah, I, I think it's arguable. We don't know if, if Mad Max is gonna have a, a DVD of the tour, so just in case people are really willing to know they want it so badly to have a gift of this concert. So thinking this way, yeah, for me it would be nice to know if I had the opportunity to, to see her live and to know having something, a picture, whatever. But um, I'm very... So I'm very... I'm very straight regarding rules. I'm I'm the opposite uh, of Madonna, basically. I, and actually, I'm 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 the opposite because she like she's a rule breaker, and I'm, I'm I am a rule follower. You know, I'm Aquarian. She's Leo. I understand that. Uh, also, I, I understand the complaining from the fans, and that we wanted you know to have this because yeah we have to respect her and that's I, I was reading the comments for example people are saying yeah she, we have to respect we have to respect her as an artist but uh, she wouldn't have become an artist without the fans and actually this is a fact yeah sometimes they forget they need the fans as well we need them to entertain us to inspire us she owes she owes a lot to to her fans and she knows this and she already told us many times that she doesn't take our love for granted this is my my opinion actually all right i follow the rules okay if someone is feeling disrespected because of my actions i would step back and stop doing but this is me because i felt uh disrespect many times by many things you know especially by by the government in brazil but that is another story so, um, and it's awful when you feel disrespect and people, people, um, they disregard, you know, they just don't care about this. So what, what, what would happen, you know, the experience that should be, you know, good, should be great, you know, once in a lifetime, you know, because depending where you are, you may be going to see Madonna just once, you know, you never know. Because I mean, it's very expensive to know their concerts are very, are very expensive anyway. So the experience that could be good would, would be a very awful one because you would be escorted out of the theater. So yeah, I, if I were you, I would stick to the rules. But this is me, all right? And I understand all the points, all things the fans are saying. For example, on Facebook, uh, one, one, a fan, he replied this, uh, Shane, Shane Steele, uh, maybe if you decide to respect your fans by showing up to your shows on time, they will respect you. You lost me as a fan when you decided, when you decided it was okay to be two hours and a half hours late and didn't even apologize. Get over yourself, girl. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm, it's it's complicated, guys. It's so complicated. Uh, I understand all the points, you know, and I'm not the one. Don't 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 get me wrong. I don't. I'm I'm not here to to please everybody. I'm not here to agree with with everybody. But I can understand because I can, I'm very, I I'm very empathetic. So I understand his point. And also, I've been through this experience during Mad um, um, DNA tour in 2012. She was late for two hours, almost three hours, and we were starting to know people started booing. And actually, because of this delay, uh, I, she didn't perform like a virgin on MDNA tour in 2012 in Sao Paulo. So uh, yeah, it's it's not nice. It's not you know, it's not cool. But uh, I I still think that you you because she disrespect, you have to disrespect as well. Because then we get, we go in circle. It's a circle of hatred and you know and revenge. That then that's not never gonna end. So uh, what's what's the point? You know. I mean, but I, I still you know I understand the, uh, their 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 point. And I think people is also people are also pointing out that she has already been um, caught out because she was using she was texting 
during a during a, a, a play. I think it was 12 years a slave, in, and um, and yeah, it was very disturbing because I mean, she, her phone, her smartphone, was in light, was lightning. You know, was really bright and disturbing the audience. So um, yeah, I know, I know it sounds very hypo hypocritical coming from her, anyways. But um, we were there to enjoy. Uh, can you imagine, you know, many years ago, many decades ago, when you didn't, we didn't have all these modern devices, we, we had to watch, and that's it, we have to stay there and watch, you know, maybe get a picture, uh, and, and that's it, that's the way it is, I mean, um, and if you are there knowing, knowing that, actually one of the, the subscribers told me that as soon as you purchased the ticket, you received uh, an email, inform you that the recording devices weren't, won't be allowed. So um, if you're still thinking of going to Madame Max tour, consider this, okay? If you're going there, accept it, you know, because you're gonna get in trouble. So if you really want to enjoy, you know, regardless all this, regar regardless her delay, regardless, you know, that she, she she's like, like a statement we have in Brazil, you know, do what I say, don't do what I do. So we have this statement, you know, in Brazil. I don't know if you guys have seen something similar, anyway, especially in America. So yeah, guys, uh, it's very, it's a very complicated. I know there is a lot of controversy. So I'm analyzing both sides. So my opinion, you know, summarizing all this, it's I, you know, but this is me, Clayton Crispin. If I really want to see Madonna live, I would stick to the rules and I, I wouldn't use my phone. That's it. So I would like to know your opinion, guys, seriously, because I know that actually I mean, it's, been, it's been a very lovely surprise because my videos regarding Madonna, have, uh, uh, they, they're, they're reaching views that I, have, I haven't reached before in this channel. Uh, yeah, because I have another channel, but that's another story anyways. Um, uh, yeah, so it's been amazing, you know, this interaction with people. So I really would like to know your opinion. Okay, so drop down below what is your opinion. Have you been to the to Madame X tour? Did you go to the first show last week? So drop down below what, what is your opinion. And as always, yeah, as I said before, don't forget to subscribe, to give a thumbs up or thumbs down. Follow me on my social medias and thank you for your comments. Okay, I still read. I read all the comments. Okay, guys, all the comments I read, and uh, sometimes we reply. Sometimes I just give it a heart or a thumbs up. So thank you very much for your support and thank you very much for watching this video, for your patience with my accent, with my slow speaking. So see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.